Dressing for Thanksgiving. You, not the turkey, a refresher. Hello and welcome to Fashion Bites. I'm Ellen Byram, author of The Screwball Noir, Crime of Fashion Mysteries, featuring Lacey Smithsonian, a fashion reporter in Washington, D.C., the city that fashion forgot. Last year, in a video at this time, I discussed how to dress for Thanksgiving and the holidays. You, not the turkey. You don't have to worry about the turkey, because there are articles and advice everywhere. There's even a Butterball Turkey Hotline. Alas, there is no hotline for what to wear for Thanksgiving, what's appropriate, and what's offensive. What would give your grandmother a headache? Now that would be useful. Today, with the holidays rushing toward us like a runaway train, I'm talking about holiday dressing again. You may not know what to wear. Take a deep breath, everything will be all right. For a holiday like Thanksgiving, you want to be comfortable and appropriate. You also want to show you appreciate the effort that someone, if not you, put into this meal. If you are the host or hostess, you can set the dress code and simply let people know it will be Sunday best or dressy casual or festive attire. Remember, you have to tell people what is expected. People who say you can wear anything are simply not being helpful. You can't arrive wearing a swimsuit or your birthday suit. Clothing is required. And some may think it's obvious that guests should dress up for Thanksgiving. But a lot of people don't know that. Guidelines are helpful and often essential. You can set the tone. I'm waiting for my invitation to a cocktail attire Thanksgiving party. Wouldn't that be fun? Your host and hostess also should mention what they are wearing, whether they are pairing a dressy top with their pants or wearing a dress. Obviously, there's a lot of room for interpretation. But my most important rule of holiday dressing is this. When the good china is on the table, dress as fine as you are able. There is something jarring about seeing guests arrive at one of the most elegant tables of the year in t-shirts and torn jeans. It's as if they don't care and you might as well serve a Swanson's TV dinner on a TV tray. Good china and fine crystal imply this dinner is something special, out of the ordinary. It's a holiday and good friends and family gather to celebrate. It calls for celebratory attire. And parents of young children, don't forget to set aside a few minutes of your own for your attire. We've all seen children dressed up in adorable ruffled dresses and boys in their suits, hair combed, faces washed, and mom and dad stagger in looking like they've just wrestled an octopus. Everyone can dress nicely even if the holiday meal is going to be served outside or at the, quote, family farm. Now, I think that this is mostly fiction, but I live in a state that could have a foot of snow on Turkey Day. Nobody takes it outside. Southern Living and other magazines tend to have articles about families who gather by the dozens at outdoor gatherings, bundled up in big sweaters and matching scarves, and noses red from the cold. If you are invited to an outdoor turkey dinner, be sure and choose a warm sweater or jacket. And if walking in uneven fields, sturdy shoes or boots are de rigueur. A pretty shawl may be all you need to dress up your look and bring gloves and hats in case you meet with inclement weather. Sounds like fun. What about other events? Guys, of course, have it easy. They merely need to don slacks, a shirt and sweater, or a vest. Ties and jackets are generally optional. You notice I did not say jeans. For women, a casual look might include slacks and a sweater. A bit dressier and you might choose a skirt and add a dressy top in velvet or lace. Sweater dresses like this are always appropriate and attractive choices. They can be dressy yet not too tight for an event that includes a big meal. You can dress them up or down. To bring an outfit out of the ordinary, you can always spice it up with a statement necklace. Something bright and sparkly adding a pretty shawl or scarf does the same thing. Thanksgiving might also be the opportunity to wear that new dress you couldn't resist. Finally, if your friends and family like to take a walk to burn off those calories before or after the meal, or even between the meal and dessert, don't forget to bring a comfy pair of shoes to walk in. You might be concerned about the cost of dressing up. But there are thrift stores and consignment stores that have some lovely items that someone else only wore once. And you can pick these items up for a song. 
There are also discount stores, and this year I am delighted to be seeing dresses and tops, not only in lace, but lots of velvet and jewel tones. There's something for everyone. If you're the hostess, don't kill yourself on every little detail of the dinner. Take some care with your attire. After all, you deserve it. And for that one guest who always shows up a half hour early, give them a task to perform, like setting out appetizers. But take the time you need and do not feel guilty. My last bit of advice is to pre-plan what you're wearing and set it out the night before. That way you can see if your planned garment is in good repair. Check for missing buttons, broken zippers, and hanging hems beforehand. And that way you won't have any unhappy last-minute surprises. And finally, have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving. That's all I have for now. If you want to know more about me or my books, check out my website at ellenbyram.com. I'm also on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. That way you won't miss any. And feel free to share. This isn't a secret society. Bye.